Hello, hello. All right, so today's workout is going to be more of a general strength workout. And uh, there's, I think, 11 exercises. We're gonna go for 10 reps on each exercise. And if it's a single side, we're aiming for 10 reps on each side. If you can hit eight and then your form starts breaking, then go and, um, and just stop at eight. So we're gonna focus on quality of movement before we focus on hitting those required rep counts. Um, your goal is to be two to three rounds of this. We're gonna to go top to bottom and then repeat. Um, this is a really, really good workout as a finisher or an opener, either way, for a um, running session. So it could be for like a longer distance run as your primer to turn on all of those elements, core, back, spine, legs, get everything warmed up and ready to go. Or it's really, really good as a uh, preparatory workout for a light sprint session. So not something super crazy, um, but something that would be more like an easy stride, 65% uh, effort, um, shorter distances, 100, 200 to 100 meter kind of thing, maybe 80s, uh, something like that. And it also a uh, really good one as a finisher if you did like a general strength with resistance training type exercise. So without further ado, I'm frozen, so I'm keeping my sweater on until I get too warm, but we're gonna go into single leg squats. So our goal is to be able to pistol it, but if you can't, that's fine. You can go into leg back and up. 10 on each side. Try not to touch down on the bottom. If you go to the front, we're going to try to get that leg in front. But if you need to do a rested heel on the ground, totally fine. Chest up, core is turned on, and 10. Switch sides. You can also alternate back to front to help progress to that position. If you need to hold on to something for balance, gentle fingertip, go for it. Whoop. And you're gonna find one side is definitely more proficient or better than the other for this. Then we're gonna go into a vertical leg crunch. So legs straight up in the air. You can have your arms reaching to the sky or we can actually reach behind the legs. We want our chest open and we're leading with our chest. We're not leading with our chin. So try to go and lead through here, through the chest. Instead of driving through that chin. 10. Push-ups, push-ups of any kind. The one that you're most comfortable with, yes, you can do it from your knees. Work towards going from your toes, that is always our goal. All right, upper limb only Superman. So for this one, toes are on the ground. You can have your hands overhead. You can put them behind your head. You can have hands down at your side. Upper body only is coming off the ground. So we're focusing more into the erector spinae and through the back, the back muscles. Toes driving in. 10. Try not to crane your neck. We want to keep that neutral neck. Flip onto your back. We're going into a supine arch. So we want our hands on the ground, heels on the ground, shoulders on the ground, toes to the sky. And we're actually pressing through heels and shoulders and head to lift up the center of the body, create an arch up and down. Supine meaning facing up. Try and keep those feet in line. Toes pointing to the sky. Good, V-sit. 
So your goal is folding in half, coming to that diver's V, and you can then coming back down. If you need to go to an alternating single leg, go for it. You can have that foot in the ground or you can have it hovering. Your choice, 10 of these. Those are 100% once you get the rhythm, don't stop. Okay, you're going to get into a push-up position. See, I told you I'd warm up. All right, so push-up position. We're doing a plyo push-up. So from here, what we can do for the plyo, of course the goal is push-up, clap, but we don't want to face plant, so we want to work towards that. So option one, push-up, Lift the hand, push up, lift the other hand. Option two, push up, pop. That's it. Work on that explosiveness. You are pushing your body away from the ground as powerfully as possible for that plyometric. Ten of these. You can definitely do them from the knees. Good. All right, prone single leg hip lift. So lower down to your tummy. Rest your head in your hands. We're doing this with a bent knee. So you're gonna take one knee, bend it 90 degrees, foot full dorsiflexion, flexion, so we're not pointing our toe. We have that foot flat to the sky from here, using our glute muscles, picking up that leg and coming back down. Notice I'm not arching through my spine. I'm not moving at all through my spine. It's simply from my hip, from my glute. So I'm not making a big movement. I am just instigating that lift. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Good. Okay, you're gonna come up to standing. We're going into a lunge step, good morning. So you're going to take a big lunge forward, reach long, come back up, step back. So we're working on lunge, hinge from the hip, back up, keeping spine long. If you can't have your arms overhead, shoulder issue, neck tension, Go into arms down at your side. We're going for 20, 10 per side. Open that chest. Halfway there. One more, one more. Good. All right, on your back, on the ground. We're going to do a reverse crunch with bent knees, hands down on the ground beside you. From here, keeping the knees bent, curling as far back as you can, and then coming back with control, pulling the belly button down to your spine as you come back down. If you find you're pressing through your neck, arms are up overhead. Coming through and back down. Gentle heel touch at the bottom. Go again. You're literally just kissing your knees at that tight point. I like this one because it stretches my spine, gives me a little bit of a massage in through the back. 
also makes me really be hyper aware of what I'm doing with my core because if I don't have that belly button wound up, I'm inching along and moving, traveling across my mat. So I always use my mat as my indicator of how much I'm engaging my core. All right, inside out creep. So this one, I'm gonna show from straight on angle. So this one, there's an optional push up, your choice. We're gonna get in that push up position. Our first one is creeping with our feet inside, going back. You could push up, creeping with our feet outside, go back, push up. All right, 10 of those total, you're counting the push up. If you're not counting, if you're not pushing up, then you're counting your movements. Working on using this for stretching as well. Ten. All righty. That, my friends, is one full round. Grab a sip of water. We're going to do one more round for sure. And you want to do a third, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to stick to the one. We will start with that single leg squat. And this time you should probably have an idea of what your weaker leg is. So, start with the weaker leg. <laughs> All right, away we go. Switch. You can do this to a chair behind you as well if you're a little bit insecure. Or the couch. Or a bench. All right, vertical leg crunch. Push-ups. Try a different style. If you have a one normal style, try and mix it up. All those people are missing your overhead pressing. You could do the pike push-up that we do in the gym usually. Right, that's one option. All right, upper only Superman. Toes in the ground. <laughs> Supine arch on your back. Heels in the ground, shoulders and head in the ground, arms passively at your side, toes to sky. Make that arch. And 10. Good, V-sits. <clears throat> Try your best not to use your arms to throw you. <sighs> Good. 
Well, I will push up. I'm gonna do the hop from my knees. I always lose my core in these ones, so I'm gonna go from my knees to try and keep that long spine. Hop. All right, prone, single leg, hip extension with that bent knee, head resting on hands, knee in 90, foot flat to the sky. So you're balancing a pitcher of water on that foot. Two sides. Okay, lunge step, good morning. All right, ready? Big step forward, arms overhead if you can. If not, behind your back. Open your chest the whole time. Twenty total. All righty. Bend leg, reverse crunch. On your back, knees bent, hands out your side or overhead, and we're curling backwards. Kiss your knees, draw your belly button down as you come down. Try not to travel so much. And inside, outside, creep. Already, do that push up if you want, or just move your legs. And go. Whoop. Can't decide what I want to do. You can also mix it up, right? You only do push ups after a certain foot movement. So you get a little bit of the benefit, but you're working within your ability at this point in time. And over time, you'll get stronger. Two rounds. Two rounds is plenty for warm up or finisher, depending on what the workout was. Um, make sure you have your water in between each one. And then, yeah, there you go. Um, that workout's actually called We're Done. And uh, enjoy, carry on.
finish out three rounds if you want. If you're too super uh, eager, go for your four. All right, have a good one, you guys.